Hi everyone, I'm Dave High, and I'm here today with Foz, one of our data protection architects, and he would like to give us some information about our S3 cloud storage with NetBackup. Thanks, Dave. So we've supported uh, S3 cloud storage since NetBackup 7.5. Um, we've made improvements over the years in 7.5 and later versions. Uh, in 7.7, we've made even better enhancements, so I'm pretty excited to talk about some of that. Um, at a high level, how S3 works, it is nothing more than an object store. It is, a file, it is a data store for us. So we've got buckets on the S3 side, which NetBackup maps directly to storage units and disk pools on the NetBackup side. Um, configuration is pretty easy. We have a configuration wizard in NetBackup. You can kick off the uh, wizard, and uh, before you kick that off, the one thing you do need to do is go into the EC2 console and define your um, IAM keys, the Id Amazon Identity Access Management. And once you've got the keys, you go into the wizard, you provide the keys, it'll let you choose an existing bucket or define a new bucket. We can use multiple buckets if you wanted to leverage, segregate your data um, based on uh, a personal choice. Um, so once you've configured the disk pools, it's a matter of just modifying your policies to specify that storage unit. And the workflow, as it, what will happen is as we back up data from a client into a media server, the media server will right directly into a particular bucket for that disk pool or that storage unit is specified. Additionally, since the beginning, we supported Accelerator, which has been um, a godsend in some ways for Accelerator because it, uh, for cloud storage for S3, because it optimizes workflow. So once you've got the initial backup up there, we only send incremental changes, which helps minimize the data movement. So Foz, that looks really cool. Now I know in previous versions of NetBackup, we've had some challenges trying to get the data from the client over to the buckets. Has that changed in the new version? As a matter of fact, yes. Um, previously, we used to have a single-threaded connector, which was our challenge. With the new version, we've introduced a multi-threaded connector, which lets us saturate a one gig link in our tests. Wow, that sounds awesome. Well, hopefully you found this video helpful, and you will appreciate the new improvements in the performance getting your data into the S3 cloud. Thank you very much. Thank you.